this is the chill episode. <laughs> this is the cool, relaxed episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm excited to get into this. We did a fun one this week. We did the Saturday Night Fever. Yes. Uh, 1977. Directed yeah. by? I don't remember. No, John right. Badham. Ooh. Whoever the fuck that is. Yeah. He's a Hollywood guy. He did uh, War Games and Short Circuit and Nick of Time and Bird on a Wire and Blue Thunder. He did a lot of stuff. Dracula. He did a lot of stuff and they're all like mm-hmm. kind of big studio Hollywood. Yeah. 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 Mm. Starring John Travolta. Yeah, John Travolta, fucking one of uh, one of the few movies where his hair looks good. Yeah, you're there. Ah, <laughs> bye. He hits me. He hits my head. <laughs> I work hard on my head. So, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, I mean, I came into the movie. I was like, this is like so fucking stupid. It's like I thought it was a joke kind of movie. Like you always see him dancing and doing yeah. all this stuff. Dude, I love the movie so much. Oh, you knew it. I, I it fucking so knew it. Sick, dude. <laughs> That we fucking rules, knew it, bro. Dude. We kind of talked that. about it a little bit, yeah. like like uh, like for a second last yeah. night. So At I, least, like, I think Nick's going to love this movie. Oh, I love yeah, this movie. Dude. All <laughs> dude, I loved it, dude. That's a fucking... I'm not giving anything away, but I fucking like the movie quite a bit. You want to synopsize the movie or not? Yeah, it's, a, it's about uh, Tony, right? Tony. Oh, Tony. 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 A Brooklyn, Brooklyn guy working class family. He's Italian. Got a, he's got a job in a paint store. But he just lives to dance, man. The He's a disco guy. guy. The disco guy, yeah. And it's just about him and his friends, and uh, and they rape women and dance disco, and uh, fucking go it on Saturday night, dude. Uh, Saturday night, they got this. They got night, that Saturday night fever, man. That's pretty. Pretty, much it. pretty rapey movie. Oh yeah, pretty Around rapey the end, movie. The end is a little rapey, but I mean. It's no raper than no rapier than like American Graffiti or something. Uh, yeah, but it's like a rape apology because then they like make up after. Yeah, I guess so. But they do the same thing in American Graffiti. Okay. I mean, that's that's pre that's pre that's the pre AIDS sex culture, man. Yeah, it's true. That's you know? true. Mm-hmm. That's just how it was, apparently. It's true. Yeah. So so for for I mean, obviously you guys don't know there, but the reason we reviewed this movie is because we're talking about. Um, <laughs> Is this recording? Yeah, just make okay. sure I'm gonna keep my eye on the bed. Uh, reason we talk about this movie is that uh, we uh, like last week or last pod we did. We were hanging out and we were talking about pizza in movies. Yeah, and I was like, guys, my favorite fucking pizza sequence in a movie is in Saturday Night Fever. Like, they never seen it, so I showed him the opening scene of him. He's like, yeah, two. Yeah, give me two. two. And he two. fucking two. stacks two. the pizzas two. on top of each other, and he's eating them both at the same time. And Nick was like, dude, that's fucking awesome. We gotta review the movie. <laughs> dude, it he went does, up uh, from the pizza. He does the New York fold, too. Yeah, yeah. The double, he had dude. a double, double New York fucking fold. Fucking sick. <laughs> How much you want, Tony? Two or three? Yeah, give me two. Two is yeah, good. Two is good. Two is good. Yeah, good. Yeah. I like that everyone else, like his family, his neighborhood, his friend group, all has like kind of normal New York accents. And he's just, oh, hey, fuck you, yeah, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. Like, he's so over the top. So, yeah, yeah. Like, no one, his siblings, his fucking parents. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah. talks normal. He's fucking. And this, yeah. her, her sister, his sister, sorry, his sister's mm-hmm. in one scene when he's, like, going up the stairs and she comes down. She's like, hey, Tony. Uh, or at, like, the ta- dinner table. Dinner. Yeah, yeah. Dinner. yeah, but then every other dinner scene, every other mm-hmm. family scene, the camera cuts the cuts dinner it. table in half as to not show where the daughter was sitting before. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, she's never in the movie again. Well, I like the line where he's like, Tony's yelling at his mom. He's like, look, mom, you got three shit kids now. Yeah. And he's like, we know nothing about the daughter. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah what's the daughter? What did the yeah. daughter do wrong? Yeah, she's a piece of shit, too, I guess. I don't know. It's like the fucking, bro, the fucking family was so distraught. It's, it's like, you remember when uh, his brother gets home and he's like, ah, he's home. And he goes up there, he's all excited. And he's like, what, you're acting like someone died or something. And he's like, nah, worse. I left the church. <gasps> yeah. And they're actually acting like someone died. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like the worst thing ever, you know? He's yeah, going through a phase. Their family's back. disgraced. Disgraced. For a Catholic for a Catholic immigrant family, and I can imagine that would be pretty dis- distressing. Yeah, I guess so. But it's like, it's, like the, it's like what the brother said in the movie. Like, you know, they, they feel like they earn points in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of thing, and then they lose them once I leave. It's like, fuck. Yeah, that's definitely what, yeah. And, and the thing is, it kind of ties to, like, the, the, like, probably the main theme of the movie is kind of like, you know. Disco. Disco. <laughs> <laughs> D- Disco Inferno. 
But it's also like, you know, like, do you want to sit around and do nothing? Mm. Or do you want to do something with yourself and do something with your life for yourself, not for other people, you know? Mm. Yeah, class mobility. Class mobility. Yeah. So what did you like so much about it? I mean, I found it one of, like, the fucking, all the bits in the movie, every joke was so funny. Just, like, the little things. They're that, subtle, too, huh? Yeah, the things that weren't even jokes were just awesome. I'm trying to think of something now. <laughs> I knew it. I told you that so you would like it. Movie. I loved every little piece of the like, movie. Like, what am I, like, like, there's so many little parts that are just not jokes, but they're fucking yeah, nice. Yeah. Like, when, uh, when Tony's walking down the street and his, his friend, like, has groceries, and he takes an apple, he's like, he's like, uh... My brother left the church. Could you believe it? He's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, okay. The one you said yesterday when we were talking about it was funny too. When yeah. That his dad when he's doing his hair and his dad walks in. Yeah. And Tell him dad, the supper's ready. He's just staring at the tits on the poster. Just staring at the. <laughs> and then it's the and time. like it zooms in. Yeah. It close up on tits, and they just see his dad looking at it like, yeah. <laughs> you know, dinner's ready. <laughs> I have it written down here, like, when he first meets Stephanie, when they first go to have, like, date together. Yeah. And the whole time he's just got burger all yeah, over yeah, his yeah. face. He's <laughs> just downing the burger. Yeah. They bring it up again later when they're at White thing. Castle. Yeah. <laughs> his friend's like, well, don't you, don't you never chew, Tony? What's going on? I was like, geez, they're, they're like, making so much, like, racist jokes, but yeah. then they're like, oh, watch your manners. You gotta fucking yeah. chew with your mouth closed kind of <laughs> shit. Don't, don't chew while you eat, Tony. <laughs> But yeah, no, I don't know. I love this fucking movie. I think it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is rapey as shit. It's very much a product of its time, you know? Yeah, I mean, there's... there's uh, it, Normalizes like some said, things though, that, you know? They kind of packed all of the rape into, like, five minutes. It's more near the end that you kind of yeah. see more of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know. That uh, that same scene when the dad walks in. I found it funny. He was like, dinner's ready. He's like, I'm not eating dinner. He's like, why not? He's like, I got my shirt on. Like, I'm what? hungry. Did you eat naked? What's wrong with you? <laughs> or he's full of... Like, yeah, when he like, puts yeah. the pimple yeah, over yeah. <laughs> He's wearing a full sheet over him to protect his fucking... See, it's like a shit like that that makes this movie hilarious. <laughs> little, little, little things you have to watch it and the pay attention. Big heroic low angles and he's just putting on two chains. Puts yeah. another chain yeah. on. Yeah. That's fucking funny. Yeah, everything about it was fucking awesome. Him sleeping with his eyes open. That was so fucking weird. What an interesting decision that was. Yeah. One thing, one thing I, I, I kind of like, um, not didn't like about the movie, but something I feel like didn't age well is the dancing itself. Okay. When you watch them do their disco dances, bro, it's like the most basic moves ever. Bro. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just like. Yeah. And then they. But they're, they, they, it's like. But you know when they got to the dance competition at the well, end? Good at the end. No, but the other two people, the the, the black couple and yeah. the Latino couple, were amazing. Yeah. yeah, the Puerto Ricans were was like actually genuinely fucking good dancers. They were sick. Yeah, yeah. And I think That's that why they should have won. The, the <laughs> whole, that whole sequence, that whole part of that movie, was my favorite part of the movie mm-hmm. by far. Because it's like it's like yeah, like he should have won. He fucking goes and gives him a trophy. It's like you know, I, I I like that kind of humility shit. You know. What about Stephanie's going, what the fuck, where's my 250 bucks, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to give it to these fucking Puerto Ricans. Yeah, she has a nice job. She had lunch with Eric right, Clapton, yeah. dude. That's Come true. on. Yeah, and da- David Bowie. Do we believe her? I think she was lying the whole time. Yeah, I think she was fucking wrong. That's the that's the vibe I got with her. She was just bullshitting the whole you think? time. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Could be. Sold it to Tony, though. He, he was fucking all in. Yeah. He's naive, right? That's, mm. that's his... That's his uh... But am I interesting... Or intelligent? <laughs> Interesting, yes. Intelligent, uh, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. I like that relationship too. I, even though, like you know, the rapey shit at the end there, I, I like, I like a bitch with attitude. You know. I uh, I don't, and I also didn't like the. Um, I mean, it's an old movie, you know. That kind of happens with old movies. Mm-hmm. But the sound mixing was all off. I found. Bro, there's so much overdubbing. I, I couldn't hear anything Stephanie said ever. Could mm-hmm. never. I had to turn it up every time she spoke, and then Tony would start yelling. I'd have to fucking turn it down. Oh really? Yeah. I would love the yelling. The the yeah. sound mixing's bad. They dub a lot mm-hmm. over know, yeah. some of the other characters. Yeah. But that's that's the same thing. It's movie versus anime. Bro, so one of the love. one of the yeah, dubs yeah, were, was so yeah, funny. Yeah. I couldn't believe they said it. Oh yeah. You know when the when his brother uh, goes to the to the two thousand one Odyssey uh, disco yeah. place with them, mm-hmm. and you know that annoying friend with the afro that's like, nah, I, I'm getting married. You know, like yeah. what an abortion? Like the kid yeah. that's Bobby, fucking annoying. Bobby yeah. C. Bobby C. Yeah. Fucking annoying. 
And it's very accurate to Italian American because there there are people like that. Even in Montreal, I fucking can't stand. Hey, Father, me. can I talk to you for a second? Can I talk? Can I ask you a question for a second? Hey, father, Frank. can I talk? Call me Frank. Hey, hey, Frank. Hey, Father. Hey, father, hey, father, father, Frank. Father, 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 Frank. Frank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but at one point, you remember he's like, "Oh, she really likes communion wafers." Yeah. And then he says it like five times. <laughs> he says it like five times. Then when he finally gets the Father Frank's attention, he's like. Bob, what if, uh, what, can the Pope, like, give, like, uh, an exemption for, like, a dispension for, to get an abortion? He's like, no, he's like, he's like, you got her pregnant, you had sex with her? He's like, and then you see from the back of him and it overdubs because he can't see the face. He's like, yeah, she really likes communion with you. And I'm like, no. (laughs) I couldn't believe they said that. It's so fucking funny. (laughs) That fucking character annoyed the shit out of me, though. I couldn't stand him. I think, but at the same time, he has like the most. He's he's get like he gets the least amount of screen time. He's got the most going on in his life. I think he's on there quite a bit though. He's got a pretty big subplot. Going yeah. On. No. Yeah, he does. Yeah. But I mean, like compared to he dies? Mm-hmm. Joey and Double J. Yeah. He's, they're on screen just as much, you know. But they got nothing going I on. I guess. Yeah. Oh, but by the way, if you guys are watching this, uh, spoiler lighter. alert. Woo. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I mean uh, it's the model of film podcast. We were in every movie. It's a fifty year old. Yeah, movie. we're doing we're doing it like an hour long movie review. You think we're not gonna fucking spoil it? Like I'm sorry. <laughs> the, um. Yeah, I I didn't see that B plot coming. Him kind of dying in, there until the end. There, like yeah. they, they lead into it pretty well, mm-hmm. but like that B plot only really starts halfway through the movie. Yeah. I mean, it reminded me a lot, like I've talked before in a podcast, that uh, Cheech and Chong, the first yeah. movie up in Smoke, I, I love that movie too, and it's the same kind of style where it's just like little slices of life each time, like the same thing in this movie where you're at home with him and he's yelling at his parents and he's dancing and he's like, fucking whatever. But there's no like cohesive Dude, I love story. how much you love dancing. Oh, it's great. And I love and how much you love the, dancing. The movement of it too, I want to talk about that aspect. Like it's important to him to be a good dancer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most men today, it's not important for them. Well, that, yeah, that's it's an interesting... Big for me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it is an interesting like time capsule of the yeah. times because during the disco era mm. like disco started with correct me if my disco history is wrong but I was reading up on it for this podcast it started in like the uh, gay black community yeah and then it got popular with just the black community mm. and then it got popular with the gay white community and then it got popular main, and then it got mainstream okay I, I, so, I'm actually surprised the the few instances of racism in this movie are like verbal jokes, yeah. right? But like you know, like when they're in the discotheque and there's black people dancing, they don't. It's like normal, you know. Yeah, it's true. Well, Which say, I kind of like, you know. Yeah. They say get out of our neighborhood and stuff like that when they're walking in yeah. the first time. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. not like direct stuff. Like with yeah, the, it's like not. It's not like region, super. It's not like they're fucking slurs. like a. You know, it's not like, uh, I don't know, some, some racist movie in the 60s, you know? Mm. Ma- yeah. Mafia and, yeah. movie where they're like, oh, fuck black people. And they do something to them just because they're black or yeah, something, you know? Yeah, And that's what I was going to say. The only they th- let them dance. They yeah. appreciate their dancing, you know? Mm. The only actual violence towards them isn't because of their race. It's because they thought that they had attacked their friend first. It was just an act of revenge. It wasn't a racist. Even then, they didn't attack it like a black... No, they were Latino. They were Latino. Oh, Latino. Yeah, Latino. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, mm. They were still... The Barracuda. But even then, like, uh, minorities. I think a, a lot of people, like, uh, you know, back in those days, too, like, Italians were also, like, not as much of a minority, but they're still, like, a, an underclass, you know? I think still almost as no, much. No, no way. Almost. Not today, no. Well, not today, no, but back in... Like, oh, yeah, yeah, but no, but no, but they weren't, like, they weren't, like, thing. fucking slaves. No, but it was still, They like, weren't, Irish like, treated so Italian badly. Italian yeah, Irish, Italian. Yeah. They're all part of that minority, mm-hmm. like, underclass there. Like, the second wave well, of Well, that's immigrants. the thing. You know, all struggle is class struggle. Yeah. So it's it's just they were it's just poor people were mm-hmm. the were the people. Yeah, but the ge- the generational trauma is not the same. You know. Yeah, so. of course. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, yeah, so but the thing is that's what you see in a lot of these older movies is like especially when they're about Italians or Latinos or whatever black people is like they're they're all part of kind of the same underclass and they're probably all racist towards each other. You know. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know. I, I wasn't there. <laughs> it's true. But the um, I like the dancing. When they, I like how they all share the car to have sex with girls. Yeah, it's disgusting. It's pretty whack. And then when when Tony's coming back from the car the yeah. first time, and he he's like, oh, I just go, ah, fuck it, I'm just gonna go dance. And he goes back to the club <laughs> yeah. and dances, and they start a, like a conga line, 
and there's a whole the whole studio the whole club has a like a choreographed dance routine that everyone jumps into yeah, yeah it's so true. fucking funny yeah. <laughs> just cause Tony's there doing it everyone just slowly hops in they all know the dance already yeah man oh I love dancing I love dance movies they really are good I mean dancing is perfect for film too and for movement and yeah. stuff it just makes it feel so you're, you're just sucked right in with the movement. The I have a, I have a special, not, not a special connection with dancing, but I just like, I grew up watching while dancing mm-hmm. on uh, So You Think You Can Dance. You remember okay. that show? Yeah. And me and my family would watch it all the fucking time. So I fucking love watching dance. Okay. <laughs> Genuinely, I also love dancing. No, but like, who doesn't like dancing? Yeah. Like, like, who doesn't like dancing? I like a dance movie. I'm not going to go watch somebody dance. But uh, like, no, but a, would you a, like to dance yourself? As an activity. No. Oh, I Probably not. <laughs> Maybe headbang or something. Yeah, it's the same thing. Because I feel like anyone who likes room. music, yeah, anyone yeah. who likes music, yeah, but it's like beating up little and <laughs> eyes, like throwing these little fucking kids in. No, it. but have you ever have you ever heard, like heard a song? Like I've heard plenty of songs. You probably have too. Where yeah, you yeah. just you hear it the first time, you're like, oh fuck, and you just start fucking dancing. Yeah, it's, it's so got, good. It's got to make you move. Like when I heard Dua Lipa's album there, uh, Future Nostalgia, yeah. and I heard the song Pretty Please on it, the one yeah. that's just like, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck <laughs> is this, dude? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I heard Houdini her new her new song, and I was like, "Fuck oh, shit, let's go!" <laughs> and what's wild is that for a long time I was very self conscious about dancing. Yeah, I didn't like dancing. I didn't want to dance. Yeah. at all, you know. But then what happens? I went to theater class. Oh, nice! Boom, all that yeah. out the window, you know. I, I had the same. I just realized one day I was in a position where I was like, I, you know, I have the opportunity to dance right now, and I'd like to, but I'm like the same way, you know. I'm like I'm self conscious about it. Mm-hmm. And then I kind of looked around and I realized, you know what, dude? Everyone else in here is probably yeah only thinking about themselves anyways. No one's going to fucking look at me because they're all busy wondering if anyone's looking at them. Or they're just doing some weird fucking shit, yeah. you know? Or your move. You give us a little moves for the camera. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll have a little dance special after. We'll cut in. That's the edit mark. We'll know to cut in the... The what? clips, the <laughs> clips you guys supply from home. <laughs> you guys dancing. Of me on, so you think you can dance? Yeah. No, but da- dance, I, and I know what you mean too about dance in film specifically, because mm-hmm. there's a lot of movies with like seemingly random dance sequences. Yeah. But I, I love every single one of them. It, yeah, they work so well. The ex machina when he's dancing. Yeah. With, when the, that's like the, the best sign. part of the movie. Yeah, it's so yeah. sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like dance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a whole. Uh, I don't know if it's a whole YouTube channel or... Step just... Up, dude? <laughs> don't laugh, bro. Step Up is fire, dude. No, no okay. That's where, I, that's, where I, that's where I drop You like Step Up? I like dance in movie. I don't like a movie that's just about dance. But, but Step Up, like the first Step Up, though? Bro, like... And all that jazz? I haven't seen it. Fancy. Yeah, Climax. Is... We talked about that. No, but yeah. Step Up is like that hip-hop, like, R&B, like... Real, like, sex dance, dude. I fucking love it, bro. Hip-hop is, yeah. Hip-hop is always cool. And then they're, like, they're, like, dancing in the rain, but they're doing, like, hip-hop. They're all wearing baggy jeans and, like, a white yeah. beater. Oh, I love you the first step. I love the first step <laughs> movie, okay? That shit, like, bro. I can judge how good at someone is at sex if they, like, step up or not, you know? That's, like, a, that's like one, of the, one of the tests, you know? There's yeah. many tests. But that's, like... If you're a good dancer, oh yeah, oh yeah, you yeah, know that's your first date. You watch Step Up every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Step Up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the soundtrack for Step Up too. Oh, I have a, I have a Step Up playlist on my phone. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> was all Usher. There's some Usher. There you go. Just because he was on the he was he played. There's a uh, yesterday on the he same Do- Dalla or the, something. The Dalla uh, award. Yeah. Which other fucking guys, bro? This is a halftime show too, so you know, whatever. Yeah, Not for me. Mm-hmm. Sure, I was saying that's before about the fucking um, like movies like that, and like I brought up fucking um, up in smoke before. It's like the story doesn't start until like an hour into the movie, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, and it's like a three-hour movie or something. Mm-hmm. And the first like hour is just all these scenes where you're just living <laughs> this stuff. So like once I started to watch the movie. I didn't notice any fucking bad mixing, any bad fucking yeah. anything like this. I was so zoned you in. You didn't notice the, 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 she likes community I mean, wafers. The dubbing for sure. There's a few parts where you know it's fucking ADR, but you kind of expect, like you watch a Herzog movie and the whole thing is the wrong oh, language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the funniest shots in the whole mm. fucking movie is, you know when Tony um, borrows the guy's car to yeah. go help uh, yeah. the girl move Stephanie. out? Mm-hmm. 
And you know when they're in front of his car and they're like, and he's like, yeah, I appreciate you giving me your car. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, you gonna call me later? He's like, yeah, I'll call you later. He's like, you gonna call me later, Tony? He's like, yeah, I'll call you later. And he just stops fucking answering the question. Yeah. Tony drives away and you see the the frame. It's framed where like it's like um upper body frame of the guy with the afro, uh, Bobby C. Yeah. And you see, he starts walking away. You see his giant heels coming yeah, through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, that's so fucking funny. Guys yeah, wearing like five inch stilettos. <laughs> yeah. Sick though. I said right away. Fire. I said right away to uh, my girlfriend, who is a shoe designer. Oh yeah. I was like, we got. I you. want that. I, I was like, I was like, you got to do something about bringing that back. You got to bring some disco back. Yeah. Disco and rape. Well, <laughs> no, no, not <laughs> I just think. Let me get the time marker for the, for the social. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> time marker. Bleep it out for the YouTube. No, but do uh, high heels for dudes. I've always, I dig. Well, I'm a big heel guy. Like yeah. I wear like all my all my boots have heels, yeah. you know, shit like me that. Too. I like it. I like it. It's fire. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's not like, <laughs> I, like I don't mean like a fucking. I'm Maybe not like just platform fucking boots. Shoes. <laughs> platform. Yeah, they're cool. Big chunky things. Like big, even like big combat boots. You know. Really. I like yeah, them. I'm big into combat boots, so like you know, they always have a fucking thick heel on the combats. Crazy, I like the thinnest. It's awesome. style. Thinnest. So <laughs> nah, I want I want some big chunky motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> some 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 goth stompers, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Depends. It depends on the occasion, you know. I'm not gonna wear that every day. I mean, if you're going to stomp goths. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. The goth mommies, yeah. you know. I got nothing bad to say with this movie at all. I have zero bad. To really? Say, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was so fun to watch. Just the fun. I think I've kind of. But I, I'm I'm actually surprised how much you like. I I knew you were gonna like it. Yeah. Cause your humor. I really liked it. But but really what, what else about it. it made you like it that much? I mean, I'm finding it hard to put into words now. But what I found because everything about it, I found I found so fucking good. Like, I love the camera movement through it. I found like the for the first seventies movie. Oh, it's great. good camera oh, yeah. shots. Good angles. Even you know? when you're I going the framing a little claustrophobic. Sometimes for a movie Sometimes about. Close. Dance and and stuff. I feel like how tight his pants were, bro. We could have had more space. <laughs> tight framing, dude. tight framing with tight pants, you know. <laughs> but uh, I just found it so beautiful. I like the bokeh of that fucking the close up yeah. shots where everything's blown out and just dots yeah. and bubbles and stuff going. And one shot I took a screenshot of. It's that first diner scene where it's Tony and Stephanie talking. The way the camera's blocked out, it's not just a normal over the shoulder where you kind of find it. Maybe has more weight in one side of the frame than the other side. Here she's planted in the middle, and you have Tony on one side, but it's like the the cup of his neck kind of here, so it makes like an iris kind of effect. Oh, okay. And on the other side, it's dark because she's lit from this side, so you have the key on her. So it's almost like a nice vignette around her with her in there, but oh. it's still an over-the-shoulder mm. shot. But it's just done, so it's not, this is the frame, you know? She's yeah. properly there, still over the shoulder, so you're not like, yeah. what the fuck? I'm, it's a movie? It's cuts, you know? You still you still feel like you're in the scene yeah. about it. Uh, the fuck, you know, when you're walking into someone's apartment and there's a crane up and dolly over and everything's so smooth and nice. A lot of the time you see dolly shots and they kind of do this back in the day. <laughs> yeah. This is nice and smooth. And then when you're dancing too, it's so steady. It's, have... It was a pretty big movie when it came out. I mean, fuck. I like, bro, it's, it's like a BG sponsored movie almost. It, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, not, yeah. like there's some songs, like Night Fever is a, mo- a song made for that movie. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Makes sense. But... You know, so it's like, it's like, it was a big movie when it came out. Like, I'm surprised neither of you guys watched it before. No. I thought it was a joke movie, though. I thought it was a fucking, do, 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 stupid fucking dancing thing. I thought it was like a joke. But it was fucking good. <laughs> it's fucking great, dude. I mean, it is a joke movie. Yeah, but I was, it's so well done, too. It's I wasn't not like... expecting there to be any sort of, uh... Plot? Um, just serious <laughs> subject matter. <laughs> but it turned into a, like, a, a pretty accurate exploration of class mobility and, yeah. and social drama yeah. family drama there's masculinity stuff. gender yeah. um, it was awesome dynamics oh, like yeah that. for sure I don't know then too if the steady cam was available why like because I think oh fuck I'm getting a nosebleed uh, oh fuck oh, <laughs> pause for a second All technical right. difficulties and we're back I don't know we guys sorry it's fast it was a fast nosebleed. I think it was just like a little bit of blood, okay. but it's not actually bleeding. But I brought some a little little Forgot. tissues, <laughs> little tissues for myself in case I bleed some more. A pocket full of tissues, like a little, like a gentleman. Yeah, we went to go beat up the barracudas. 
I was expecting you to come back with a whole sheet, a whole white sheet on you. <laughs> so you Pissing blood, no full of blood. But my, he hits my hair. That, that's probably one of the funniest fucking dinner scenes but too even ever. even that scene though, I found it a very well acted, like a serious, kind yeah. of dramatic scene. Because they're all just fucking just, hitting each other. Yeah, he's just breaking it. I thought it was fucking good. I was like, whoa, this is like... One pork chop! One! I was like, yeah. fucking hell. <laughs> We're gonna eat good in this family if it's fucking... You know, it was all... It was very... Girthy. Very accurate to, to, oh, to awesome. immigrant family shit, you know. I like, yeah. I didn't think John Travolta was very good in it. No, no I can't stand him. I think like, he's so like it was almost too much. Yeah, all the time. no, I, I like. <laughs> I actually liked his performance in this movie. He's I mean, he was two hundred. He was dude. nominated for it, so like, was it really? everyone loved it. Yeah, oh, yeah. like I, I think I think it's more just like his character's a lot has a lot more depth than like it seems. Mm. Yeah. Like, yes. like, you know, like, he, he, he does, well, what? No, keep going. Like, you know, like, he, when you first watch it, you're like, okay, he's just like this Italian kid, whatever, annoying, Brooklyn Italian, uh, who likes to dance, you know? And he has this, like, class struggle thing, and this kind of, like, you know, whatever. But then, like, he has certain moments in his eyes that, like, you can tell that, like, he is, like, nice at heart, or whatever, and he just, like, I don't know, he's, like, I feel like he's a bit more complex of a character, like, the more you watch the movie a bit. Mm. I just wish it didn't take him almost raping his girlfriend and then watching his friend die in front of him for for it, for him to, like, really grow. He should, he should have done more of that growth before that. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't... It's not that I think that that's what made him grow. I think it's, like, um, he was growing the whole movie, but that was kind of the tipping point where he said, you know what, fuck that shit in the past... Yeah. And I'm going to move forward, you know? Yeah. I'm just saying, I, I feel like the the ramp up to the tipping point, he should have done more growing before that, I think. Sure. Like for the, Just for the story mm. to be a little... In an hour and a half before. Yeah. It kicks off, yeah. Because mm-hmm. <clears throat> otherwise it's like... But, but you're right, because throughout the movie, he's always like kind of annoyed mm-hmm. with his friends. I mean, I would be too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think he starts to change when his brother leaves. And his brother leaves him the. Well, it's not just. Yeah, it's, it's not just a. Like, yeah, but it's so like. Um, he starts turning a bit there. Yeah, because his brother kind of tells him, like. Snaps him out of it. His, 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 his brother's relationship with the church is like mm-hmm. his relationship with the paint shop or whatever. Or you with know? everything. With yeah. everything, yeah. you know? And his, his, brother, his brother was able to finally, like, leave what he didn't want to do anymore. Mm hmm. In the past, and actually go do what he wants to do for himself. Yeah. And Tony kind of realized, like, okay, if he can do it, or like, he's gonna, he did it. I'm gonna do it too, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna be a, a great dancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. But no, I like, I like the character a lot. You know, even though he's mm-hmm. like does some does some fucked up shit at the end, I like his character a lot. I thought Stephanie too. I thought she was a fantastic actress. Stephanie was great. Mm-hmm. I couldn't hear anything she said. Oh yeah. Yeah. Weird. And the I had downloaded a subtitle track, mm-hmm. but the first subtitle track I downloaded was like the wrong. Would you would you watch movie on an etch a sketch or something like that, bro? What do you mean? Like you couldn't hear the fucking movie, bro? I could hear everything you were saying. I could hear everything but her. Really? Whenever she spoke, I couldn't understand as she was oh, yeah. the volume. I had to turn it up to hear what the fuck she was saying. Oh. I ended up getting a different subtitle track that actually lined up and then okay. the, the, the last hour of the movie it was fine was fine the okay. first half I was like what the fuck is this bitch saying <laughs> okay. couldn't understand couldn't hear her one of the characters I like too was the uh, the guy who owns the dance studio just like some fucking pervert oh guy. the creepy guy yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the little pencil oh, yeah. stack <laughs> They got a 65% fucking guy. <laughs> like what with children dude what the fuck <laughs> what, did, what did he say about uh, Stephanie when Remember he's dancing with Stephanie yeah. and Tony walks in. He's like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, Trying to bump it up to 69? Yeah, something like that. Did he say that? Or he said, he said, I didn't realize you had your hat, your, your coat hung on her or something like that. Yeah, it was something like oh, that. Oh, some stupid shit like that. on her or something. But he's like, oh, he's a creep. Yeah, I don't know. That movie ruled, dude. Everything. I think it reminds me a bit of uh, Killing the Trinity's Bookie, too. It's kind of... Yeah, uh, I can see that. More... Small story points rather than kind of a big thing. There's still a big thing in it, but later. Yeah. And, like, you get big breaks of just... Dance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in there, in Chinese book, it's theater. Yeah. But it's, like, still a 
performance yeah. art that you don't kind of yeah but that's way moving if for movies yeah for sure well, for like Killing the Chinese book is burlesque so it's yeah. still oh it's still dance still yeah, dance, still dance. yeah. yeah. <laughs> same same uh, showy yeah yeah I didn't watch it <clears throat> no you didn't it's good I haven't watched show. I should it's but fucking good, I haven't watched we'll, Killing we'll the Redux we don't have to do Redux oh I want to though, dude. <laughs> I want to so bad dude <laughs> Yeah, I don't have to, and I didn't, I didn't like the first half. Genuinely, I didn't. Oh, no? No, the first half I found mm-hmm. hard to get through. It you was, like, you like the dinner scene? It was funny, but I, the whole time I was like, God, this is, it, it, I was, it was getting a little insufferable for me. Oh, yeah. Really? Everything before Frank comes back. Okay. I think once Frank yeah. comes back. Then I was like, okay, now now I'm starting to see where this is going. Really? And I'm starting to, now everything is kind of coming yeah. into place. But everything before that, I was like, this is, dude, from why the, is everyone yelling all the time? Because <laughs> they're all Italian. I know, <laughs> dude. <laughs> from the first, like, bang, 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 when it first starts, yeah, he's yeah, walking. Yeah. Dude, I was 10 out of 10 in. But see, that, really I, that in, I also dude. loved. And all the oh, the, the, the opening loved. sequence of this movie it's so good. is one of my favorites of all time. It's so good. Because it's, like, it's very simple, like, mm-hmm. and it's kind of, like, like, dated. But the angles, like uh, him walking under, you see his walk like that. It's oh, fucking yeah. awesome, yeah. dude. And the the two pizza thing, bro. I'm like, fuck. That is fucking yeah. funny. Every time a girl walks by him, him just go full turn around. Full turn, <laughs> follows her for a bit. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so good. <laughs> and then, bro, the fucking first, you know the first girl, he, he stops and he, she's kind of like trying to go around yeah. him. Yeah. Bro, she looks like Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Like she does not. She's like not hot. Like I mean, I don't think John Travolta is very attractive, anyways. So, dude, Italian Stallion. I don't know. He kind of looks like um, he looks like a dinosaur a little bit. Even when he was younger, he has that like big fucking jaw. Yeah, but I also didn't. I don't find. Uh, I didn't find anyone. I didn't find anyone in that movie attractive. Oh, I thought Stephanie was hot. I thought that the girl that he keeps fucking uh, shooting off, shooting off, was good. Annette. Yeah. Annette. Yeah. Something like that. No, I like Stephanie. I thought Stephanie was cute. Mm-hmm. I think the movie reminds me of uh, Taxi Driver a bit too. Oh yeah, aesthetically at least, and that uh, opening yeah. sequence. I can see that. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's. I think any movie from that time. era, yeah, New York, yeah. where like it's mm-hmm. because it's, the movie's about disco, but the movie's also very much about what's going Brooklyn. on there. Yeah, yeah like it's mm-hmm. it's a very it um even like Drive. Right, L.A. Okay, Los yeah. Angeles is a huge. Oh yeah, part yeah. Of the drive, drive to drive, and it's very subtle too. In Drive, yeah, you know? but like Drive wouldn't have been the same movie in any, any other city, right? Mm-hmm. And like this, no. just like Taxi Driver, maybe Miami. I could see Drive in Miami. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe, or uh, you know, say Jerome. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> fuck no, that's a joke, by the way. <laughs> So, so Lee, yesterday you were telling me like you, you hated most of the movie, but then to a certain point where you were liking it. Well, it was just, it was just once the movie, yeah. So w- once Frank came into the picture, I started seeing, cause at first it's like, like you said, it's just kind of slices of life. Mm-hmm. And I was like an hour in, I'm like, this movie is going to go nowhere. Okay. I was like, I'm, this is literally just going to be John Travolta yelling at his mom and then dancing all night. <laughs> Honestly, that would have been pretty good. I was like, I didn't like, like, care, dude. That that seriously? Care. <laughs> but then, then things kind of started lining up. And then, once the whole thing, once I started kind of piecing things together, and the Bobby C story started coming in, and mm-hmm. Frank story started coming in, and their romance started coming in, and everything started falling into place, and then I ended, and I was like, okay. And then... I, I left and I drove over to a friend's house to watch Super Bowl. And the whole drive there, I was just... Pissed off. I was just thinking about the movie. I was like, fuck. Maybe it was a good movie. Like, I, like, I can't fucking stop thinking about it. So, like, obviously, like, it... Left an impression, at least. I think, yeah, it's a good... I think yeah. I, I can comfortably say that it is a good movie. Mm-hmm. Whether I liked it or not, I don't know. Okay. I found mm-hmm. it a very fun watch, though, too. Very like fun to watch. Find I it fun. fun to watch. So. I mean, I, I laughed. <clears throat> I, I laughed a few times. I just feel like it's funnier. It's a the movie's funnier to talk about than to watch. Oh, you fun? Dude, I was crying the entire time. Really? Oh, really? Every scene, I'm smiling, going Tony the entire time, dude. I don't think I ever actually laughed. Really? I think he would just do something. I was like, oh, like that. That was a good bit. Yeah. You know? No, I think I I laughed. 
Because I, 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 I'm the only one who's seen this movie before. Okay? Yeah. Uh, and the like, I today, like today when I watched it, the 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 only time I really laughed and chuckled was when we saw Bobby C walk out of frame with the heels. <laughs> And yeah. I was not expecting it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Usually it's like a very serious scene and he walks out of frame. He's crying. And, and, it, look, and then as he's leaving the frame, like you see his heels come up and they're like massive and so exaggerated. I thought it was hilarious. I did, I think, I think the, 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 I think I did laugh. I think I laughed twice and it was the dinner scene, that first dinner scene. Mm-hmm. When it cuts to him with the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. with the whole ass sheet on him, that was, that was genuinely funny. And then after his dad hits him, he's like, my hair, my hair. I just did my hair. He's hitting my hair. But my, my, freaked out my hair. Like, Mom. <laughs> yeah, that made me laugh too. But that made me laugh like... I know I work hard on my hair. It's taking a long time to do my hair. Yeah, those are the two. They yeah. are funny parts though. Funny bits. Because like up until, up until the cut to him wearing the sheet, mm-hmm. I didn't think any of the humor was intentional. Okay. Like when he was Even like, the titty shot. Even the, the poster there. Yeah, even that. Okay, his mom like, constantly doing the cross. The yeah, Father time. Frank. <laughs> and when his dad walked in, and I was like, "Dinner's ready." And he's like, "I'm not eating dinner. I'm wearing my shirt." <laughs> uh, I didn't think like, "Oh, that's funny." I thought, "What a fucking douchebag." <laughs> and, like it didn't make me laugh. It just made me not like the character. Oh, yeah. And then it cuts to the shirt, and I was like, "Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. we're joking. <laughs> I get it." <laughs> But I found the like the movies like it was constantly that. That's funny. Like they would set up the punchline and I wouldn't get it yet. Okay. And then they mm-hmm. the punchline would hit and be like, oh, it was, the, the last two scenes were jokes. Now I get it. <laughs> okay. Well, like everyone. Well, I, was, I also I also laughed at the communion way for overdub. That is funny too. I like the fucking like every time it's like a low dramatic like a hero shot and then he's like fixing his collar or something yeah. or just doing like the most or it was a hero shot with his underwear when he's pretending to be Bruce Lee yeah. <laughs> it, took, it took me it took me a while to warm up to the humor you think you're gonna like it more in a second watch yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so I think for mm-hmm. sure it's a funny movie I think yeah. it's hilarious and I, I also watched it like in the middle of the day before going to Super Bowl okay, yeah. like I wasn't yeah you, know, you were thinking with chicken wings <laughs> think about margarita Doug's chili chili <laughs> Yeah, no, I like the, I like the movie all, obviously, you know. Yeah, that's, no, that, that's a good fucking one. And there, there was even scenes like, cause I, I, you guys know me, I'm I'm a cheese ball when it comes to like romance shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and you know I kind of like their little their little thing, you know, up until the end, cause the end was fucked up there. Mm-hmm. But you know I, I like I like a little I like a girl with attitude like that, you know, yeah. that's gonna make buster balls and shit, you know. Like uh, one scene where I was like, oh, is like um, when he's like, oh, I want to walk it home, you know, and she's like. She's like, no, don't walk me home. Like, the second time. Because the first time, remember, he gets pissed about it? Yeah. The second time, she's like, you shouldn't have asked. You should have just done it. I was like, yeah, you should have done it, done it, loser. You know? <laughs> I was like, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go, girl. Let's go. <laughs> I was liking that shit, you know? Yeah, but then later in the car, he doesn't ask. He just does it, and she freaks out. Yeah. You know. Make signals, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Make signals, dude. Have you seen that American Graffiti, though? I have not seen American Because it's almost the fucking, the same scene, almost. That's really? It, that's the We're, first Star Wars, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is 62. Wait, what? It's it's George Lucas' first movie. Oh, is it? It's okay. fucking good, though. It's super fucking good. Oh, like, that's a weird way to say A New Hope. Like, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> and it's like, it's their prom before everyone kind of leaves high school and goes to different colleges and stuff. And it's a guy with his girlfriend, and he tries to rape her in a car, and he's like, "What you fucking? I want to remember you after fucking I leave school." And it's like a big fucking drama thing, and they get back together at the end, and it's a happy thing. What's fucked up? The same thing in here, though. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, what do you guys? What do you guys think about that ending? It felt kind of forced a bit. The guy falling off the bridge, at least. I mean, I mean, like, I mean, like the the romance there. Well, the whole ending, the guy falling off the bridge, the rape scene. Yeah, I mean, the rape... The, the, them, getting, them making up in her apartment kind also, of thing. The, the, the sexual assault with Stephanie, <laughs> Yeah, I felt wasn't that bad, because I, I don't think they ever got anywhere. He was mm-hmm. just being a little too forceful. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he actually... They they never got undressed or anything. No. Like, it was still sexual they had make, they had They did make out right before that, like, while yeah. dancing, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, it was... It, I'm not saying it wasn't sexual assault. It absolutely was sexual yeah. assault. Yeah. Hmm. But for the times then, right? I think that happened all the time. And compared to what happened to Annette afterwards in the car, yeah. 
Oh, that was way worse. That was that was just straight up rape. Yeah, yeah, that was that was horrible. That was mm-hmm. hard to watch. So, so the ending with Stephanie and him, to me, wasn't that bad because mm-hmm. it would it seemed a lot more believable than if he actually would have straight up fucking raped her in the back of the car. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I think that happened in like twenty times a night, probably at that club. Oh that yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think sure. that was a normal thing because what's that? Fuck Back to the Future too. It's the same thing. He wants to rape the girl in the car after prom. Does he? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, banging girl, banging a, banging your prom date in your car after prom was against like, their will was normal. That's that's like if you're American, you you know you grew up in a nuclear family, you go to high school, you rape your prom date, you go to college <laughs> out of state, you know like those it's are like the you know how you like you know how do. like ducks like um, fornicate. Yeah. Because this is just fucking brutally rape sure. That's how I feel like humans do it sometimes too. What's I mean, seventy before Saturday AIDS for night. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> is <a> Saturday night. <laughs> He's got the fever. That's bro. a fever. He's got the fever. <laughs> oh, dude, you remember when uh, Annette brought out the condoms and he's like, "Oh, shit, the fuck up." Yeah, bro. Trojan has Trojan has not changed their like pe- like. Yeah, that was funny. They're 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 they're, they're, uh, they're like branding. Uh, they're branding at all. Yeah. Trojan sponsored movie. Mm. <clears throat> Annette was a wild character. Yeah, her. I don't know if she was super believable though. I don't know. Maybe if it's. I believe a it. Type that existed, yeah, yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, Still Dude, does. people like that yeah. exist now. Yeah, you go to a club, you'll see them. But someone that wants a guy so much that she gang bangs all his friends, yeah, yeah. some crazy holes out there, bro. I could name two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I thought that ending was fine. Like if it was just the kind of uh, them kind of breaking up and getting back together. It's a nice happy ending. You kind of well, they didn't get back together. They became friends. No, no, yeah. I think they kissed after that. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. I think that was them, you know, because she asked, like, "Do you think you can do that? You think you can just be friends with a girl?" Mm-hmm. And he laughs and he's like, "I don't know. I can try." Yeah. And then she laughs and then they kind of. It, I, th- I feel like it was implied that. Mm-hmm. that yeah, they, it's implied, but yeah. still, it's like. Um, yeah, but like the ending of him getting out of the neighborhood. That you know it's gonna be. It's either that or he dies. Like, I, like the action. like. One thing is like I, I I never thought of it that way. I always thought of it as they were just friends, and she just like kissed him on the cheek or whatever, because mm-hmm. he got beat up and whatever, and sure. he's being all nice. And his friend just oh she doesn't know that yet. Go on. Yeah, she doesn't know that yet. But like, it's like yo, we were gang banging this girl in the car, <laughs> and Bobby V jumped off the fucking. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't want to get an abortion. <laughs> And Tony didn't call him the night before, so he fucking killed himself. Like, My brother didn't movie. laugh at the wafer joke. Uh, <laughs> he's fucking pissed. No, but like the way I always saw the movie was that like, um, like ultimately he doesn't get the girl. Oh, okay. That's always how I saw it, mm-hmm. and that's kind of how I liked it all the yeah. time, because it made more sense to me, you know. Because like I kind of like it, you know, when um, like Barbie, you know, Ken she does all these things to get Barbie, but at the end of the movie, which he. She, she doesn't owe it to him, right? Yeah. And that's kind of always how I saw this ending a little bit. Like, she doesn't owe him a relationship, and they just stay friends. Yeah. And I always thought that was kind of, like, um, Progressive. nice. Yeah. Progressive, you know? It's like Barbie before Barbie, you know? But Step Up and Barbie owe their, owe all their shit to this movie, you know? Especially uh, especially Barbie, not Step Up. Step Up is the own thing, you know? What, is this Step Up, the guy doesn't get the girl in Step Up? No, he does, he does. I'm just saying this is the dance movie. Oh, okay. We have the ending where... And this is like the progenitor dance movie almost. Well, have you guys seen Flashdance? No. Did that come out before or after? I guess you wouldn't know if you haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. Because I saw, I saw this movie being compared to Flashdance a lot <laughs> in terms of, like, themes and uh, stuff. Flashdance came out in 83, so way later. So this okay. movie, this movie definitely... Like, you see what I'm saying about that mm-hmm. ending? Yeah. How I feel about it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's, it's very, nice, though. It's very uh, yeah, possible it's that, funny. like, they actually just implied become a thing you know mm. but I, e- either way I think we get the same feeling out of the ending yeah 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 yeah. 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 I, yeah I also feel like the ending is more about him getting out of the neighborhood and, yeah. and trying to do something with his life than mm. less about and become a great dancer yeah or do what he wants mm-hmm. but the, he, the story of the, the kid falling off the bridge that seemed like he just needed some kind of climactic event you know mm. you need some kind yeah, of yeah they're building some him up a while there you know, okay. Even you, the, oh, we, we tease you with Annette, or we think she's gonna jump off, and then he falls off. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it was suicide, or do you think it was an accident? I think it was an accident. Uh, yeah. I think. I mean, what Tony Maybe. tells the cop, because mm-hmm. the cop asks Tony, "Do you think? He, do you think he killed? Do you think he killed himself?" And Tony says, "There's a, there are ways to kill yourself without killing yourself." 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the cop's like, all right, get out of here. <laughs> what are you fucking... Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking Socrates? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, Socrates. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Socrates over here. <laughs> Socrates. <laughs> fucking Plato over here. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I, I thought uh, that scene also lasted too long. Of him dancing around. I was like, yeah. okay, he's gonna die. We get it. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah. The well, they do tease it before, where they like kind of fall off yeah. and they prank uh, like a net or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. Where they're that's like, oh, fucking, stupid. That's a funny bit, dude. Yeah. yeah. That's that's some shit I would do to someone. That's so funny. <laughs> Pretend to die in front of someone, dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the maybe Bobby C was pretending too. <laughs> yeah. He just swimmed away. <laughs> well, I love how like he prank he's pranking his baby mama. You know, it wasn't even light out when the cops were with them, right? Mm-hmm. Or was it beginning to be light out? Oh, I don't remember. No, it was dark. It was still dark, eh? yeah. yeah and dark. the cop was like, "Ah, we're not finding him. Turn the lights yeah. off." Dude, Wait, like, dude, what the fuck? Dude, you barely looked. What if he's alive? Like, <laughs> yeah, dude, it wasn't that. I don't know. People survive. Oh, like, they could have. They could have spent like an hour there. Who knows? Yeah, I guess. But, like, people survive jumping off the Golden Gate. Hmm. That bridge is way bigger. Yeah, it's water. Bridge like, it's at. not like, uh... You could, you could... If you if you land in it the right way, you couldn't survive it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Apparently, um... Trivial Pursuit. There's a question about that movie in Trivial Pursuit. And they oh, call really? it the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. But apparently it's not the Brooklyn Bridge. Really? No, it's the bridge that connects Brooklyn, not to Manhattan, but to Staten Island. So it's a completely different bridge. Well, that's, that's okay, yeah. I don't remember the name. Is so it the president's a, name? No, so maybe. So it's a W. Okay. I don't remember. I don't know. Just a fun fact about the bridge, I guess. That's fun. But also, apparently, when Bobby... I read all. I read the, the IMDb trivia section. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to quiz us. When, uh, <laughs> when, when Bobby sees, like, climbing the... The cables? Cables yeah. there. Yeah. Cables, yeah. He's wearing white shoes, and then when he's dancing on the beam, he's wearing black shoes, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Good notice. I didn't notice, uh, apparently there's, like, tons of instances of, like, cameras and booms and oh, yeah? stuff like that. Tons and tons and tons. Really? I didn't see, yeah, I didn't see any of them either. I didn't see yeah, me either. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure in the club and in the studio, there's a lot of mirrors and shit. Maybe. Like, yeah. Those are, those are always tough to... Mm-hmm. Those are some oh, for ones. sure, for sure. When, yeah. they're da- when they're practicing, mm-hmm. I'm sure you see some shit, you know? Yeah, like when they go in that big room in the studio, and yeah, both walls yeah. are mirrors, like, yeah. you know, how you're not going to see a camera. See a guy like this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's just dancing. And yeah, bro, I like the soundtrack, too. I love the fucking sound. I love the BGs. I love disco. Mm-hmm. Disco's oh, yeah. fire. I like a movie that uses a lot of uh, licensed music. Yeah. I find that fun, too. I love Nice refresher. I also yeah. love movies that use genre. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? stick to it. Yeah, like like this is like there's nothing but disco in it. Yeah, yeah. and it works super well, and mm-hmm. it's cool. Like disco, like this is a fucking like disco owes a lot of shit to this movie. Yeah, I don't. Well, I, I don't know. Late seventies. Yeah, it's was true. It maybe di- not, but like, was it disco dying already? Probably. Maybe, but like for disco's longevity. Yes. Like people sure. still listen to disco today. It's like I still listen to disco. Yeah. Like the Bee Gees are an all time classic band. I mean, they, you know, disco influenced everyone from fucking pop to Nirvana. True, yeah. Yeah. You know, there's that famous interview with... Uh, and, I, you know, I feel like the Bee Gees, they don't get the respect as musicians that they deserve. Really? Bee Gees have yeah. some good tunes, though. Aren't they're they pretty like, fucking big, though. No, people, yeah, just, people I mean. just... talk. No, they're big, but people just chalk it up to them as being disco. It's like, oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. They don't actually, like, appreciate them, like, musically, you know? But, like, they have some good fucking musical shit. I get know? them confused with ABBA all the time. Really? Yeah, Bee Gees and ABBA. It's Bro, that's same, like... It's the same face. That's like... You ever watch Clerks? Uh, no. Not full. The the guy in Clerks mixes uh, Helen Keller and... Um, the girl in the attic. The, the chick in the attic there. Yeah, Anne Frank. Oh, Anne okay. Frank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But says, not just... What am I... What am I... <laughs> what am I... Dumb and deaf like Anne Frank? And it's like... What? So you... That's like yeah. you and ABBA, dude. <laughs> that's like every person in high school who doesn't get a passing grade in history, though. Like, yeah. You know, I don't think that's a... What are you, fucking Mary Curie? With the full yeah. women you learned. <laughs> the crimes of the future, bro. <laughs> Mary Shelley, you mean? No, yeah, whoever. <laughs> Anybody. Uh, the... Oppenheimer. Oh, yeah, Opie. Um, <sighs> we want to do reviews. The movie's almost too old. 
Well, for letterbox reviews? Yeah, what do you think? I don't know. Yeah, why not? But it's a classic, yeah. you know? There's going to be some people to, who yeah. are trying to watch it. So should we do? We should the, we jump the into the letterbox the reviews now? Well, do we want to do f- favorite shots first? Well, yeah, show us the favorite shots. Yeah, sure. But I take a screenshot. I don't know what my... Like, you have your screenshot, so what's yours? I don't know. I didn't take notes. I only watched... I usually watch a movie... I usually watch the movie... Then I do some research, and then I'll like scrub through the movie to find my to recall my favorite. But you don't. Song. You didn't have one that stood out to you like that. Um, I like that the the dance scene. I mean, the the dance contest is fucking cool. There's that's the best thing really the whole cool, movie. That's, that's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that, that. The whole sequence. Well, yeah. yeah. Whenever the dance floor is evacuated and it's, it's just yeah. Tony and maybe one other person dancing, mm-hmm. all those are fantastic. Yeah. But I do really like when he's in his bedroom and it's the low angle, low angle, and he's in his underwear. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's such a like. If I had to pick, like, three shots to de- like, this de- define be- that movie, it would be him in his underwear in his room, him dancing, and then uh, fucking Bobby falling off a bridge. Those, yeah. That's like that's pretty much yeah. the movie for me. It's just those three scenes. See the so the hero shot with the other is one of my favorite shots too. But I also, I, I just love the shot in the opening sequence where they're following him from yeah. the low angle. And he's walking, you kind of see his foot step forward a little bit. And he's like eating the, the, the two, the two, you know? <laughs> that's that's probably my favorite shot, is that low angle of the opening sequence. Mine, you? mine is the, uh, it's a joke. It's not like a beautiful shot, but I was fucking crying laughing with it where it's Tony and the Annette in the car and they're trying to get a gun. It's, it's like a dramatic kind of scene and then Buddy pops in with two cigarettes in his nose. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, dude. I'm going to show that to the camera. Hey, Annette, yeah, you, you want a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> two smokes. I didn't smoke. realize that, dude. That's that fucking was, funny. It was, it was fucking funny. funny. Dude, I paused there and laughed. That was so fucking funny. He's looking around. No one's laughing. <laughs> like, it's too fucking good. Man. That's fucking awesome. The viewer's laughing. You. <laughs> oh, I love that. that. That's my favorite, though. Not the most beautiful yeah, one, yeah, but... Yeah. That's fucking fun. For a, a yeah. bit shot. That's awesome. Yeah. So, Letterbox reviews? Mm-hmm. Let's try and find Let's something. Scout some. There was a lot of, like, two stars, like... Oh, really? A lot of mid... A lot of mid reviews. Well, so like it's mostly about the rape <laughs> stuff, like the the the, the sexual assault stuff. Oh sure, sure. Like someone wrote one and a half star. First of all, what the fuck? Huge warning if you haven't seen this movie. There's a giant sexual assault apology. Okay. Another one, one and a half star. The Glee Saturday Night Fever episode was a million times better than this piece of shit. Okay. I don't think Glee is better than anything. No, uh, it was, uh Steve G, uh, put three and a half stars. Let's see what his favorite movies are. Steve G's favorite movies are In the Soup. Okay. All of the Strangers. Okay. The Zone of Interest, which we went to go watch last week. And The Holdovers. That's also a new brand new movie. That's yeah. A new Christmas movie. And his the... his review was uh I like the bit with the dancing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got a one star review from Natalie who just says this movie would be good if there was no dialogue or storyline. What's just the what's your favorite movies? What's your favorite movies? Natalie's favorite movies. <laughs> Are The Dreamers, Sunset by Andy Warhol, The Empire Strikes Back, and Service. Okay, they don't have a good opinion. Five minute short by Jun Otani. Oh, Jun Otani. (laughs) Jun Otani, yeah. It's just uh, a lot of... Empire Strikes Back is the best one, though. They're all bad. I'd say. I think, uh, what's the fucking... What's the one... Where they fight, where the, it's about the fucking, they go, Rogue One. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite Star Wars movie, which is, is Rogue One. Okay. I think I'm remembering it. <laughs> it's, I think it's about, I don't even know what it's about anymore, but I think yeah. it's about. Sounds good, though. Because you know how, like, in, in the one where they destroy the Death Star, mm-hmm. the first time. Oh, I do know the one you're talking about, yeah. And they get so the they're like, someone stole it. the plans. Yeah. It's the story about how they stole the plans. Yeah. And I think it's, I, I consider it my favorite Star Wars movie because it's the one that people talk about the least and they don't like Star Wars. So I just think it's funny to just say that that one's my favorite. Either that one or The Last Jedi, the one that everyone hated. Those I like my, The Last Jedi too. Those are my two favorite. I like it because it made all the Star Wars fucking losers fat, uh, mad. Yeah, exactly. And and I, also, I, I don't like Star Wars at all, so. And also because Ryan Johnson is a good director. Yeah. And he did that movie. And he did, he did I do genuinely think he did it well. See the way brick or something? Is that Ryan Johnson? Slither? Oh, I think it's called Brick. <clears throat> Ryan 
Johnson. It's like a, a coming of age murder mystery. <laughs> um, doesn't l- look like it. Oh wait, I I put. No, I don't care what movies he starred in. That's a different Ryan Johnson. Is his name not Ryan Johnson? I think it's R I A N. Oh really? Yeah. R L Stein. I think it's R L Stein. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're right. That's weird. Um, director. Oh, he did Knives Out. Brick, you're right. Brick. He did eh? do Brick. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I that being good. I remember that one being pretty, pretty damn dramatic, tense, a thriller. Oh, why do I like Ryan Johnson? I've only seen Knives Out, Star Wars, and Looper, and I don't like any of them. Looper was fun enough. Yeah, but it wasn't. A, I don't know. No, it's like a movie you watch with your dad or something. Yeah, it's Looper. I think I did watch it with my dad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a dad movie. Knives Out was good, but it wasn't like great. I'm trying to find some good reviews here. Saturday Night Fever. Oh, I got, I got, uh, did you say, did you do, do the one by Matt? I only read one and it was by Matt, Natalie. Matt Lynch, okay. So we got uh, Matt Lynch, a pro subscription on Letterboxd. Oh, cringe. Uh, he has a four star review of this movie. He's got Empire Strikes Back as his favorite movie. Empire Strikes Back Weird. again, dude. Blade Runner. OG Blade Runner. Okay. Quaidon. By, uh... Hold on, Quaidon. By Masaki Kobayashi. Yeah. The guy who eats a lot? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Kobayashi joke for you. Yeah. <laughs> and Pulp Fiction. It took me to explain it. To... <laughs> and his review was four stars. Because I, I want to find a review that was that was kind of an analytic, not just like, oh, rate bad, or yeah, I like yeah, the yeah. dance, you know? Mm. Or just a summary of the movie. Yeah, he says, it's a little troublesome that there doesn't seem to be any honor here in the working class life. Presented as an almost entirely hopeless dead end. Something something to be escaped at all cost. But if, if the men in this community feel like they've got limited options, the movie goes out of its way to alert you that, to the trap women and minorities are facing. The guys skir- uh, shirk responsibility with alarming regularity, uh, leaving the priesthood, quitting a job or being unemployed. You can get out of that stuff as long as you don't get tied down by un- by an unplanned pregnancy. But for the women, either you're a nice girl or you're a cunt. Pretty uh, quietly crushing, especially a late momentary contrast between disco nightclub lights and those on a squad car. Ooh. Not bad. Fuck. Yeah, I think a lot of the reviews I'm seeing are... Shout out are Matt Lynch. People upset. Empire Strikes Back. People upset with the uh, dialogue, mostly. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, they say uh, <laughs> they, they, there's a lot of racial slurs. They call people cunts a lot. Mm-hmm. People don't like that stuff. And it's supposed to be a gritty fucking 1970s New York movie. Yeah, well, yeah? that's the thing. You're watching a movie from the 70s. I yeah. Don't expect it to be progressive by today's standards. Mm-hmm. No. But I think... Um, I think... In terms of... I mean, even the slurs are, like, pretty low on the slur level. Well, they say the N-word, hard R. Do they really? Yeah. When do they say that? They say it once. Oh, yeah? When they're walking to the club for the first time, they say yeah, it's, all uh, you Yeah, but N- D- Double J says it, yeah. Yeah, he says all you N-words and then the, the Latin... Oh, well, wait a all, second. All, yeah, all, you, all you people yeah, yeah. you people get out of my neighborhood. Yeah. Or whatever. It was something like that. Yeah. I thought he was doing a bit like, you do this and you do that and something like that. May, yeah, I think so. I don't know. One like thing he I like, drops the hard R. At the dance competition, and he's like, yeah, these Puerto Ricans are greasing up the dance floor. They're getting grease everywhere. <laughs> Two guys with the most jam yeah, yeah, yeah. shit in the yeah. head. <laughs> he's fucking greasing up the dance floor. But, I mean, I think if you're, if you're going... Because a lot of people, I think, like you thought, <sighs> were going into this movie... Just trying to have a good time and watch John Travolta do some disco. Yeah, well, I thought it was know? gonna be terrible. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what a lot of people are expecting, and then yeah. they're they're getting hit with a bunch of slurs. Get hit with reality, with baby. With a bunch of misogyny and racism, and they're like, "Wait a minute." But yeah. in terms of <clears throat> class mobility, it is. I I do think it's an effective movie. Yeah, sure. And I think in terms of being an accurate representation of. The trials and tribulations of a young, macho immigrant also seems very accurate and real. Yeah. And, I think it's, you know. yeah. I didn't think there was enough slurs. I would have loved more slurs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Fuck. Slur it up. Great. 
I mean, I'm not... You watch most movies from that era, there's slurs in it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Yeah. but we're also not the demographic who's going to care about that stuff. No. Yeah. I guess. Like, we we, we don't mind watching people get dismembered on camera. Like, it's like not... Slurs are not a big deal for us, you know? Julia. What about you, Julia? What do you think of the movie? Uh, Yeah. She's like, she's like, Tony called me a cat and I got offended. That's what she said. Yeah, so I mean, I don't, I mean, outside of, outside of those reviews on Letterboxd, they're either too short and whatever, and mm-hmm. all the other reviews were like fucking four paragraphs long. Yeah, I don't feel like all and a lot of those four paragraph reviews on Letterboxd, I've come to learn, is just people summarizing the movie. Yeah, and giving that. it a score. Like that's mm-hmm. not a review. Dude. I can read the plot summary myself. I you can know? watch the movie. Yeah, or I can just fucking watch the movie. Good, but because I think there are two reasons people read reviews, right? One is to see if they want to watch the movie or not. And that's why people write reviews where it's just a summary. <coughs> and the mm. other type of review is a critique, a critical review. Yeah. yeah. That, that's what we're that's looking what we, for. That's analysis. What yeah, which is a little less common on Letterboxd because yeah. people are stupid. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't like reading anything before the fact. I'd like oh, to God, see yeah, it yeah, yeah. come up with something yeah, me and either. then see what other I might, I might read something after to understand it better. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, after, yeah. yeah after. Like, uh, like, especially plot sometimes. Sometimes the movies are very fucking confusing. Mm-hmm. Like, um... <laughs> What movie like 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 Crimes of the Future? Mm-hmm. It's like some annoying, confusing, very all over the place kind of plot stuff. Yeah, most Cronenberg movies are kind of like that a little mm-hmm. bit. So that's what I'll read synopsis for or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You guys want to get into a review like individual like? Uh... Yeah, I mean, uh, fuck. I think we went over everything. We did camera movie. We did story, plot, character, theme. We're fucking. We covered it, baby. We're we're Hell fucking yeah. good to go. We're good to go. Costumes, amazing. Costumes were sick. Tight. I don't even know what they're called. That it's shirt. Just, it's year up. It's supposed to be the times that it's filmed in. They probably said, Tony, show up with your yeah, So what, what, do, you, what do you give the movie? What do you um? What do you think? I'm giving it a solid... I liked everything about it. I couldn't find like major filmmaking flaws in it. I thought that the flow of the camera was great. And if they didn't have a steady cam at the time when the girls are dipping and stuff and the camera goes down and dutches and comes up and tracks yeah. and everything, that's pretty hard to do if you're holding the fucking thing on your shoulder yeah. and yeah. an 80 pound camera. Yeah, it's a guy holding, it's a guy holding a camera, but that guy's being held by another guy. Probably so with a big strap and a yeah, crane yeah. and all kinds of stuff. So I mean, that's pretty impressive just on that level. And like, what I was saying before, the blocking of the scenes and the way you kind of get around and move from space to space. Like you're getting in the apartment, you have this big camera movement or you just walk in the door and it always back a little bit and reframes. Just that little bit of effort to make it a bit more fluid and real and you're in it. I thought that was great. The fucking Tony, I love the guy. I thought his dialogue was awesome. I thought all the dialogue in the movie was awesome. I loved the dancing. Loved all the fucking drama of it. I'm giving it a nine and a half. Dang. Oh, oh really? Straight nine and a half. Woo! That's a big boy score movie. right yeah. there. I loved the movie. I thought it was great. Wow, okay. <laughs> that is a big boy score. Fuck. I like I, I like everything you said. I agree with most of it, but it's not like a mind blowing fucking plot here. You know, it's like a... no, yeah, <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah plot like, doesn't matter, dude. That's okay. Like I give it like a seven out of ten. Like a six point five, good six point five or seven out of ten. Yeah, it's like, like I think the movie's hilarious. I think it's one of the best dance movies you can watch. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably like the progenitor dance movie too. Um, and it, it, it touches its themes. It does everything kind of yeah. right. When did Footloose come out? <laughs> 80s. Oh, wow. oh, really? 80s, yeah. And, you know, I love the soundtrack. It's hilarious. But, you know, there are some questionable things in the movie. But that's part of it at time. Like, it's a 70s fucking movie. Like, what are you going to do? And, yeah, but it's like a movie I don't take too seriously either. You know? So. Mm. Yeah. 7 out of 10. What about Seven. you? Um, I mean, I, I definitely need to rewatch it, I think. So I can appreciate the first half more. But for now, like, I didn't like half of it, and I liked half of it, so I'm just going to give it a five. You know what I mean? <laughs> you think, I know. This is like his, this is like his done. I mean, this might be the most we've disagreed on a movie. Really? I think this is the number one. This yeah. is, write it down. This is the all-time. The only other thing I could think of is Joshy. I hated that movie, dude. Yeah. He stunk. <laughs> and I thought it was good. And Halen thought it was good. Yeah. But I think I think our disparity in scores is might be wider one. for Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like you're like that's only like one of the best movies of all time. Dude. I really enjoyed this movie. That's like that's like a I top really, ten movie for you then. It's up there, dude. I really like really? this movie. Really? I really I mean 
Maybe not a top ten one, but I really like yeah, that movie. Yeah. I, I really like this. But one. movies we've done, on, 10, movies we've done on the pod. It's probably this is top five for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I think I've given three or four perfect scores. Did I have I given a ten? I don't think I've ever given a ten. Maybe Mulholland Drive. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I think I might be the only ten I've given. Even mm-hmm. Audition, one of my favorite movies ever. I give like an eight or a nine. Yeah. We we disagreed on uh, Mulholland Drive also though. Oh yeah, I liked it more yeah. than you. I, I think I gave it like a three. Oh shit, really? You gave Mulholland Drive a three? I don't like that movie at all. Whoa! I don't like that movie at all. Okay, I think that so... movie stinks. Dude. Wait, what'd you give Mulholland Drive again? I don't remember. Probably an eight or nine. I probably liked something. It. Like I liked that. it a lot. Yeah. See, you're on the same fence as uh, Chris and and his girlfriend. Okay. Dave. Uh, like Chris t- I text me he's like yo give me a movie to watch and I just does just after we watch Mulholland Drive yeah. I'm like dude you gotta watch Mulholland Drive and he's like I'm gonna do a fucking idiot I was like really <laughs> but it's a very artsy movie it's very weird yeah. you know? it's not it's not a normal yeah. fucking movie Mulholland Drive it was funny uh, the other day my mom writes me she's like what the fuck uh, the other day I'm looking for like something to watch I'm on YouTube and I see that your podcast had uh, the Cronenberg movie that we did uh, not too long ago Crimes of the Future no the other one the, the son fucking uh Oh, Infinity, uh, Pool. Infinity yeah. Pool. She's like, oh, I had a cool cover, so I watched it. What the fuck are you watching? Nipples, something. <laughs> yeah. this, though, what the fuck? Like, I thought it was okay. Did she get the cut or the uncut version? I think she got uncut, because she's that, going, yeah. what the fuck? What was going on? So she got the four-minute hand job I think scene. so. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know. I thought it was a pretty good movie, Mom. What do you mean? That's, that's one of my mom's stopped watching movies at the hand job scene. That's so funny. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I thought that was pretty good. Cause even like like Lee was at my house on this couch. We were watching a movie. Yeah. yeah. And my mom calls me and she's like, "Oh, what are you doing?" I was like, "Oh, I'm watching a movie with Lee at my house." She's like, "Oh, what you guys watching?" I'm like, "Oh, Infinity Pool." She's like, "Oh, I'm gonna watch it too." I'm like, "Mom, are you sure?" She's like, "Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, I'll watch." It. I was like, "Mom, are you sure? You don't? There's not um, a, a Cynthia movie there. There's not like a movie yeah. for mom." And she's like, "No, no, we'll watch it." And then like fucking they get like ten minutes into the yeah, yeah. and she fucks off watching it. <laughs> it was pretty good. I thought I'd watch Possessor instead. That's, that's Possessor is his best movie so far, I think. Yeah. Also, I think I give nine and a half. Possessor? I love that movie too, dude. God damn. I, I also love that movie. God damn. Possessor fucking yeah, rocks. Yeah. Did you guys hear about uh, Coppola? His new movie? No. Uh, Megalopolis? Okay. Megalopolis? That sounds like a Greek guy's last name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is a Greek... Greek origin word, so yeah. But uh, no, I don't know. It just it looks. It's Dude. got. It's fucking stacked with stars. Mega- I want to see started. Godzilla versus King Kong. That looks so bad and stupid. It Godzilla x King Kong. They're not fighting each other. They're fighting together. True. True. It's like a feature. Yeah. <laughs> oh, exactly. I want to see that. That's how. That looks so fucking ridiculous. The new. Uh, the new Planet of the Apes too looks fucking. I just saw this on fucking uh, uh, preview for that. Yeah. Every Super every Super new King trailer. Trailer. Kingdom of the Apes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Every yeah. new Planet of the Apes yeah, sucks, bro. Just go watch the old ones. The oh. first one was good. The first dude. one fucking rules. Yeah. Dude. The first I don't Planet remember of the Apes. Of the reboot dude. with fucking what's, what's his name? Oh, oh no, I'm talking about the one from the seventies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, those fucking rule. That fucking but the rocks, reboot ones, dude. like the first one was okay. The one where they introduced Caesar and stuff like that. Yeah, I like that one. But it's like it's like a whatever action movie. It's like you know blockbuster whatever. It was better than fucking Transformers. Everything's better than Transformers. Okay, good. Oh, when I was a kid, the first Transformers, I didn't mind. Yeah, take, yeah, take, take I, Megan I, Fox. Take in Megan it. Fox out of there. And I, I, I hated the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I hated the movie. If take Megan Fox out, you're done, bro. <laughs> I remember when the first Transformers movie came out, and every kid was yeah. like freaking out about how hot Megan Fox was. Right? She was like the shit. And also, Transformers ruined Lincoln Park. Yes, it's true. Lincoln Park was an amazing band before Transformers, bro. Yeah, <laughs> hated it. Transformers made it cringe. <laughs> Really? Well, no. All their music after Transformers came out sucks. Okay. But the music, the music out. before Transformers was good. Like they had Meteora, Hyper yeah. Theory, all these great albums. Yeah. I mean, isn't that why he killed himself? <laughs> didn't he? Didn't he shout out Michael Bay in a suicide note? It was Optimus Prime. Oh, okay, that's what it was. <laughs> Bumblebee. <laughs> but yeah, no. I want to watch King Kong. Also, uh, stay tuned for Godzilla reviews. We might do Godzilla minus one and Shin. Sh- should Godzilla, right? Yeah, I'd love. I really do want to see <laughs> minus one. I really do want. Yeah, see I want to watch it too. Um, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that pod soon. Uh, you guys want to wrap it up? Yeah, that was fucking. And yeah, any last thoughts on uh, Night Fever? I thought <laughs> it was sick. I loved it. If you watch it, if you're gonna eat pizza, put two slices on top of each other. Get two, two. Fold them in half and eat them as fast as you can. While that's holding that's while holding you, a paint bucket. You know? Chew with your mouth open. Talk to the girl you're going to fall in love with at the same time. If you have your shirt on, put a blanket over yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. 
and comb your hair like really aggressively. Um, but yeah, so follow us at your podcasts, YouTube, that, Instagram, YouTube, Instagram. Apple, Pretty much, I, we have a TikTok it. now, but like, uh, I, like I always forget to upload on it. My cat's dying in the corner. I don't know. Uh, yeah, follow us anywhere you can follow us. Check us out on anywhere you can get your podcasts. Uh, stay tuned for merch drops. Stay tuned for new pods coming out. Fuck, we have some um, sick merch coming out. Sick merch coming out. Sick fucking merch. Uh, cheap, too. It's not that expensive. Like, the shirt's like, what, 25 bucks for the shirt, right? We'll see. We'll see, all right. I'm going to bleep up the price. And, uh, if you have any... $45. If you have... Just bleep it like, $45. Uh, if you have any movies you want us to review or if uh, anything like that, just let us know. We want to hear what you thought about the side of humor in the comments, right? Peace. Let us know if you wow. like communion wafers. Yeah, you like communion wafers? <laughs> I... Uh, oh, no, this is